We're out on the Bigwood River in South Central Idaho uh, surveying brown trout reds. Reds are nests that fish make in the stream bottom that they lay eggs in and juvenile fish hatch out of those eggs. Trout select certain habitat based on good clean water, good flow because of oxygen and a certain size gravel, pea to quarter size gravel that they will um, dig a depression in and lay eggs in. Well, fish normally uh, d dig a red by, it's, it's a pair of fish, normally a male and a female, but they, they come up onto that gravel that they select and basically turn sideways and use their, their tail or their caudal fin to make a fan close to the gravel and then the current pulls that gravel uh, downstream and, and forms, a, uh, forms a depression in the, in the stream bottom. Counting brown trout reds gives us an indication of basically the, the fishery itself, how's it doing, uh, how's its pulse, you know. It doesn't give us an actual number of number of fish out there, but if, if we look at reds over time or trends, which we have been for 25 plus years now in the lower Big Wood above Magic Reservoir, we can, we can get an idea of, of how the fishery is or how the brown trout are, um, are doing in the, in the river and in the reservoir. Fisheries biologist Scott Stanton locates a red below Sheep Bridge on the Big Wood River. The light colored fan of rocks is where the eggs are located. Today biologists survey a three mile stretch of the Big Wood finding 60 reds. In years past they found as many as 443 and as few as 43. This year's numbers tell biologists that the brown trout numbers in the Big Wood and the Magic Reservoir are fine. If at some time biologists see a persistent downward trend in the red numbers, they will know that they'll need to take a deeper look at the fishery to see what's going on. Red counts are just one of dozens of survey tools biologists use to determine the overall health of a fishery.